Hey everyone and welcome back to this your program Monday Night British Culture with your host Diego Licea with a new transmission but now in home because of the quarantine. Today we're going to have some engineers that the Universidad Autónoma de Nuevo León sent for this show um, where we are going to talk about different things about the cultures of Mexico, UK and the USA. As a matter of fact, the engineers are surprised even for me, so I don't know their names and anything about them. So we are going to discover everything together. So hello and tell me about you. Hi, I am Alfredo Valdivia. I am currently studying manufacturing, which I study for its wide range of job opportunities. Okay, perfect. Uh, look very good for this humble interview with your head and that stuff. Can you tell me which are the most visited places <laughs> for tourists in the UK? Well, the UK offer a lot tourist destination. The first place is London. It is the main destination of most tourists uh, since it, uh, it has different attractions such as uh, the London Edge, the, Pala, the Palace of Westminster, among others. The, the second place, the Stonehenge, is a monument made up of, of different large stones that form a secret. There is your cathedral, cathedral as it's the larger and most important in the UK. Um, the fourth place is uh, City Hall Chester. The wonderful thing about this place is architectural uh, styles of the houses uh, because it's uh, because it has if you have had traveled to the past. Very true. The fifth place to visit is the Lake District, one of the most beautiful natural sites in the UK. Um, if you want to have to have a um, very memorable trip, you must visit this place. This is place. Well, well. Looks like you know a lot of beautiful places in the UK. Can you say now some of the most important scientists that are born? I only remember the three scientists. This James Watt, who created the steam engine. And Isaac Newton, who proposed the universal gravitation theory. And Charles Darwin, who proposed the theory of evolution. Oh, perfect. You know something about the culture of of the UK. So with this question, we end the interview. Thanks for coming. Thanks you very much. I love being with you. Uh, see you later. Hope to have you soon here in Monday Night British Culture. So now that we end with Alfredo, let's go to the next interview. But first. We are going to some commercials. Stay tuned for more.
again and welcome back to this live stream on this Monday night. Right now we are with this engineer. Could you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Luis Antonio Picón Galindo. I am studying mechanical administration engineer because I think this is a, a career who we can combine two careers, engineer and administration. Great explanation, Luis. Uh, let's change the topic a little bit. Can you tell me some typical food in the USA, Mexico, and the UK? Some typical foods of the UK is a uh, fr fish and chips, and I think, I for me the fish I don't like. I prefer some typical food. For example, of USA, the typical food is. Hamburger and French fries, uh, pizza, hot dogs. I I love the hamburgers. And typical food of Mexico are enchiladas, taquitos, flautas, pozole, cortadillo, and a lot of food we can have in Mexico. With this topic, I start to feel a little hungry. Haven't you, people? From which country would you prefer to eat? And why? I prefer to eat the Mexican food because I think have a more elaborate in the process of, of the food and the taste of this food. I love the tacos al pastor, the enchiladas. It's one of my favorite foods. Thanks Luis Antonio for this interview, hope to be with you again in another occasion. Thank you. No problem Luis, take care. Let's go as fast as we can with the next interview. So now we are here with another special guest from Tefime, another engineer who is going to talk about himself. So hi, go ahead and you have the word. Hi, my name is Paulo Canales. I'm a 21-year-old student of mechanical engineering. I chose this career because I'm a big fan of cars and machines, and I want to understand how they they work and how they are very essential to our lives. Uh, I'm a, I'm very passionate uh, about the industry and all its components, so that's why I I chose this career. I think there are a lot of future engineers who talked the same as you did. Um, let's go for some serious question. What do you think are the reasons that USA and UK are first world countries and Mexico? Not? I think both uh, UK and USA are considered first world uh, countries because of their economy and way of life. They are uh, highly developed countries that have a high quality of life. And these countries offer life insurance and very attractive salaries to their people. And these, uh, these things are not seen or are not possible in third world countries such as Mexico, which has not been able to develop itself to the maximum because it has a conformist uh, culture that causes corruption and drug trafficking to abound. This second concept, uh, the drug trafficking, it's very popular here in Mexico because many, many people see it as an easy way out of low economic status because the government or, or social uh, organizations doesn't offer these opportunities to these people. Words that Mexicans have to think on because all you said was true. But with all these things you mentioned, do you believe that Mexico will someday become a fierce world country? Yes, I think Mexico is a very diverse country and it's very rich in raw materials such as mining, uh, uh, meat, uh, etc. And this serves to manufacture new products. In addition to this, Mexico has a truly large and cheap uh, labor force. But the problem in Mexico is that most of the politicians are corrupt and do not allow us to advance in great steps like other countries. Uh, in addition to this, Mexico and its people are very conformist. Uh, they they don't think uh, they don't think big. 
they think that they will never achieve the same way of life, such as United States, uh, UK, Germany, Switzerland, etc. Yeah, hoping that some important people on the government are listening to this. So with this, we end. Thanks. Okay, for thank you for your time. Uh, it was a very nice interview. Thank you. I I hope these these sensors will work for something. Uh, so goodbye. Take care, Paulo. Goodbye, engineer. Expecting you to make big things. So our next guest is ready. Yes. Okay. So let's go with him. Welcome back to this Monday night show where we have today some people of FIME, Facultad de Ingeniería Mecánica y Eléctrica. Hi, engineer. Please tell me about you. Who are you? Hi. Well, first of all, thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's a really pre pressure, pleasure for me to stay here. Well, my name is Brian Alvarado Martinez. I study in FIME in a career of IMA. And really, a lot of people ask ask me why engineer. Uh, my answer is I don't know, <laughs> because in my family, none studied engineer. Uh, we studied accountant, but I don't know, really, really I don't know. But um, I suppose I like it from the small projects that they in high school. You know, eh? yeah, uh, that they put me in high school that place uh, when I made, I really enjoy it, enjoy it and mm, I don't know, I, I, I suppose that is the reason, the real reason where I like it, the engineer, uh, well. I finished the university, but this is the real reason I I select engineer, a specific female. A uh, story of passion and self-development, Brian, what you tell us in here, but do you like any sports? Yeah, 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 yeah. I yes I I like the the sports my favorite sport is soccer uh, equal the all people you know uh, yeah totally uh, do you believe that Mexico have the same level as the UK or the USA but I don't know the soccer is very popular uh, has uh, many fans of the all the world but when when com compare the um, the sports of Mexico versus USA versus UK no it, no no because in USA uh, has another vision you know yes. uh, why because when you say me baseball uh, in USA is MLB. When you say uh, basketball is NBA. When you say American football is uh, NFL. Is a franchise. Yes. Uh, most important in in all the world uh, is the difference. But uh, when you see U UK. The sports or most important sport of 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 the of UK is cricket, uh, rugby, or soccer. Equal of of Mexico, but <laughs> the league of UK never compared with the Mexican because it, the 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 players um, in Premier League has a league. <laughs> and the league is elite of all the world because it's the most important of all the world because uh, it's not equal, you know, yeah. Yeah, totally true. Not every sport is compared to another. Maybe we can be good at one, but being good in all is literally impossible. 
Now, can you name some of the favorite sports in those countries and the passion that generates here in Nuevo León? Um, uh, I don't know, but normally it's soccer. But uh, exit the, that sport, uh, I suppose uh, who I live in a frontier, oh well, we live in a frontier um some some groups of people like it uh, basket and baseball and american football i suppose this is the reason but uh, that groups of of person uh, select the that the sport uh, but in in olion the equips uh, the teams of uh, of uh, of of soccer is Tigres and Rayados. Tigres and Rayados is the favorite or the favorite has a lot of fans uh, in New Leon. It is the, the principal teams of New Leon. Obviously, uh, I speak of, of soccer. Uh, when you say me baseball, Fast, I I uh, I ask it. Uh, I answer is Sultanes de Monterrey. Why is the first team uh, in in Nuevo León? Um, that team is a big team because he was a lot to story. Is the uh, team uh, the old team of of all Nuevo León? And the well, the rivality of Sultanes is Acereros de Monclova. Is Acereros de Monclova. When you say uh, rivality, Tigres and Rayados, ooh, very hot because really the, hot. the people of, of New Leon is, is crazy. When you say, it, uh, when you ask it, uh, uh, any any people, um where is uh, classical region no 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 the people is very crazy very fanatic uh, um a lot of love love of that uh, sport uh, soccer is equal equal of baseball when you said where is uh, what what happens uh, when play sultanes de monterrey versus uh, acereros de moncloa Equal, equal, but but well, you say me no, I don't like it baseball and and soccer. Uh, I I I ask it in baseball. Well, my answer is uh, 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 sorry, you ask it basketball. My answer is Fuerza Regia. Fuerza Regia, the last year was champions, but uh, well. Curiosity, uh, the last year of uh, he was perfect of in Monterrey because all the teams, Tigres, Rayados, Sultanes, Fuerza Regia, was champions. In New Leon, the sport uh, the last year he was perfect. Yeah, totally. Well, thank you for <laughs> your participation. Hope to have you here again soon. Brian, and take a lot of care out there with all these of the COVID-19. Wish you the best of luck. Brian, don't you hear me? Brian? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, thanks. Really, really, uh, thank you very much for inviting me again. Uh, and I hope, I hope uh, to be, stay here again in another uh, occasion. But, well... Uh, bye, thank you, and really, very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, engineer. See you later. So, let's go for another advertise, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned for another interview. The water in Mallorca doesn't taste like what it ought to. The water in Mallorca don't taste like what it ought to. The water in Mallorca doesn't taste quite how it should. Mallorca? Mallorca? 
Machuca. Machuca. Oi, Dale. Any danger of some refreshment in here? Here you are. Get your laughing gear in there. Ooh, golly. The water in Majorca. What's that? Don't taste like what it alter. <laughs> Gosh. The water in Majorca don't taste like what it alter. She's cracking. She's only cracking. You're absolutely wrong. Heineken refreshes the parts other beers cannot reach. Hello everyone and welcome back to Monday Night British Culture, the show that everyone loves, am I right? Now with this engineer, can you tell us who are you? Hi, my name is Jesus Eduardo Rodriguez Flores and my career in mechanical and electrical engineering. Hello Jesus, great career you are starting on, hope you are in love with your career. What do you think that, that are the difference between the UK and Mexican cultures? Culture plays a large role in the evaluation of a workplace. Professor Gary Hofstede is responsible of conducting a series of students into this uh, defined culture, the collective programming of the mind distinguishing the members of a group of category of, of people from others. This article will be focusing on one the different are between the UK and Mexico and how the different cultures have influenced this. Here Mexico scores 81 which is a high score and suggests the people accept that they are part of a heritage society. In the workplace this reflects to the lower ranked workers who accept authority and their boss. The UK, however, scores 35, which is a surpri surprising considering the well established and historical class system. On the other hand, it shows the uncertainty within the culture and that people born into less fortunate families strive to be a good and a more privileged, and in believe that inquiry is completely not accepted. In the village lessons, we can, however, people feel responsibility only for themselves and their families in a loosely society or wherever they are more open to prefer a thinking society where every young situation is considered in a collective society. Mexico scores story representing a monopoly a noble society than care for each other and will come together against negative influence and relate selfish and individualism people. The UK hit uh, who eighty nine showing that every young is long to think for themselves and maintain a level of independence and how each individual can contribute to a capitalist society. Nice research that you have done there. I like it, I like it. Do you think the dress code in the UK is the same here in Mexico? In Mexico so? there is no dress code. It's easy, easier or cheaper to dress here in Mexico than in other parts of the world such as Europe as they are not live seasonal fashion and the robe has four seasons of people have have a different fashion for almost every season so it's more expensive to dress there. Here in Mexico you don't have to spend as uh, much on clothing. In general, day to day in Europa style is more dressing than American style is. Does not mean pushing clothing. We're deciding what to wear in England. 
this dressy top, blue nice jeans, a limb or skinny fit are preferred theming option if that not your thing. Having Tyler Denning always make for a admire appearance no matter what the pants style. For example, hey, the leg the leg length so there's no an excess fabric at the bottom. Like anywhere what to wear in England depends on the environment. Kind of true here in Mexico there are a lot of ways to dress that it seems that there is no dress code well. Thanks for answering our questions and have a nice day Luis. Thanks, goodbye. Thanks to you engineer. Hope you can be here again in the next week. So let's go with our next guest because she's waiting. Hi engineer and welcome to this humble show, thanks for coming, could you please tell us about you and your career? Hello, my name is Arely Gutierrez, I am student mechanical administration engineering because I like the administration and the mechanical process. Good reasons to show the mechanical administration career, hope you are doing great in your university's course. Do you know which are the most visited places for tourists here in Mexico? For example, are uh, beautiful beaches in Cancun, Playa del Carmen, Tulum, uh, Los Cabos, or for example, um, our pyramids in Chichen Itza, Palenque, and also a Cyril's, Cyril's Sush, um, Mexico City, Jalisco, Monterrey, etc. Mexico is full of touristic places, everyone knows Cancun, so it's not rare to everyone come to this beach. Can you tell us now who are the most important scientists in Mexico? Uh, for example, Luis Miramontes, uh, who discovered the, the conceptive peel. Another scientist, um, my, maybe uh, Guillermo González Camarena, who discovered color television and Mario Molina also won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his discovery about death to the ozone layer. Thanks a lot for answering the questions. Hope you had a good time here in this Monday night show. And take care out there. Goodbye, Arely. Goodbye. Well, that was enthusiastic goodbye. So let's go for a message from our sponsors and we'll be right back with another interview. Hello, engineer. Hello, my name is Jorge Flores. I'm studying manufacturing engineer. Thanks for your introduction. Do you know which are the most visited places for tourists here in the USA? Las Vegas, light shows and waterfalls, casinos and large buildings are some of the attractions. In Los Angeles, the film industry is the main attraction, followed by water parks such as Santa Monica Park, Washington DC, the main house is found, has beautiful gardens and showy steps. Universal Studios mechanical and aquatic games are offered where the theme is related to Hollywood and Disney movies. Pretty cool places I must say. And you know who are the most important scientists in the USA? 
Samuel Morse, Telegraph, Thomas Edison, Bulb or Lightbulb, Steve Jobs, iPod. Thanks for describing their inventions. That is gonna be all for this interview. Thanks. Goodbye. Very exciting, guys. What we had in here uh, in, in our last interview, and with that, we end with this show. Hope everyone had a great time watching this Monday Night British Culture Show, and see you in the next week. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good night, and take care.